Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here in San Francisco for the opening day of GDC 2010. I'm currently joined by Steven Vandermesh from United Front Games, who is working on True Crime. Steven, uh, True Crime is sort of an open world action game, which is, you know, safe to say that's a fairly popular genre. So how are you guys going about putting your own unique stamp on this game? Well, I think, uh, you know, we've, we've obviously thought long and hard about how we were going to do this. As you said, it's an incredibly competitive genre and uh, a lot of great games that have sold a lot of units out there. So uh, we wanted to do something different and put our sort of unique spin on, on the space. It really, for us, I think, started out with, number one, going someplace where no game had gone before. So, you know, Hong Kong is the setting for the new true crime so this will be the first open world game that we know of anyway that's going to be set in an asian city so we're really excited about that and the second component for us was we wanted to really put a lot of emphasis on the on foot experience so that means everything from uh, you know our, our main character has the ability to free run we're building an extensive sort of martial arts melee combat system obviously put a lot of emphasis on shooting as well and then i think the thing that's really going to make this stand out from other open world games is the way in which we've tied all those elements together to create an awesome, seamless gameplay experience. Now, you were telling me earlier that you guys drew some inspiration from some Hong Kong cinema classics. How does that sort of like manifest itself in the look and feel of the game? Infernal Affairs was one of the movies that we really took a strong liking to. For us, that set the tone for what we wanted to do. This is a reboot of the true crime franchise, and you know, those people that have played the previous two, this one tonally is markedly different from those two experiences. We wanted something, you know, intense, something gritty, something a lot more realistic. That's, I think, tonally what we took from those movies, and then obviously just in terms of like, pure action, you know, you can't beat Hong Kong cinema when it comes to that, so we drew a lot of inspiration around that as well. Now, uh, during that demo, I have to say the thing that impressed me the most was the melee combat system. Very slick, very stylish. Can you describe how yours is different from, uh, from other action games out there? The biggest thing about it is it's a very contextual based system, so depending on what the enemy is doing, like there's timing windows uh, available to you, opportunities to do uh, counters, there's a lot of stuff in the environment that you can interact with. So for example, you saw like the fridge or you saw the electric panel. If those things are, you know, somewhere around in the environment, you position yourself appropriately, hit the right button, and you know, you get a great result. So we've gone for something that is easy to use, but there is a lot of depth there. There is a full sort of uh, offense and defense, and you have to know your way around the combat to be able to pull it off effectively. But there's a lot of great over-the-top action moves incorporated into it that you can pull off with ease. Steven, well, it's looking very impressive right now. So the last question I've got for you is, uh, which systems are you developing True Crime for, and when do you expect the game to be released? So we're developing it for the PlayStation 3 and for the Xbox 360 and for PC. And I guess sometime this fall is about as much as you're going to get out of me yet. All right, that's good enough for now. Thank you very much, Steven. And that's your look at True Crime. Make sure to check out all of our GDC coverage on GameSpot.com.